Hello, it is I, Ashley. Ashley, 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 yes. I have sucked with vlogging and book stuff and YouTube and for a long time, for a long time. But like, I enjoy watching reading vlogs and I want to get back to, to doing them. I mean, I might be a loser, but if I have fun doing it, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, let's see if I can do a reading vlog and edit it and upload it and do all the stuff um, because I've been very bad at that. Like I filmed stuff and then I never edit it and it just sits there and whatever. So anyway, yes, it is me, Ashley, um, from this channel, Ashley's Got Book Excitement. Yes, Got Book Excitement. Yes. Anyway, this is no good. Um. Yes, it is July 9th, and we're going to try and film a reading, a vlog. Let's see how we do. It might not even be that exciting. So I haven't vlogged, I don't think, have I vlogged this year? I don't know. Uh, currently, I have read 29 books the whole year, which makes me sad and I would like to be doing better but you know what it's okay it's okay so let's see if the second half of this year I can't believe that's already happening let's see if I can do better um I can tell you right now I don't have a lot of hope in myself but we're gonna try we're gonna try and do a weekly reading vlog because they're fun. I like watching them. Um, and I think it's the type of content that I can realistically do. Because uh, we're not fancy. We're not fancy. So, I have been reading The Trials of Coley. Coley, 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 I don't know. By M.R. Carey. This is the second book in the, what's this even called? Oh, the Rampart Trilogy, I think. Um, it is a post-apocalyptic series about nature gone crazy, the trees will kill you, and um, a boy named Coley who learns things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am 148 pages in. I'm not going to lie. This is a slow read for me, but I kind of knew it was going to be a slower read because the first one was also a slower read. I think I got this one maybe. I got a NetGalley eARC for this one. Obviously, I didn't read it. I do that a lot. I just wait to get the library books, and I don't do so well with reading the ebooks. But anyway, um, I enjoyed the first one. It was, it was a journey. It was a journey. This one, first off, I just feel like it's a lot of words, and they're small. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know. Second off. Um, I thought this one was mainly just going to be Coley journeying somewhere because the ending of the first book was like the start of a epic journey for Coley, Coley. But, and it, and it is, half of it is, but then it like switches back to a perspective from where Coley, Coley, Coley where he used to live, and I didn't think we were gonna go back there. And when it first happened, I was like, why? Um, the character is Spinner, who honestly, I forgot who that was because I had, it had been more than a year since I read the first book. But I remember now, I remember. And I was just, I don't know. But I guess you can't make a book super exciting if it's just Coley going from place to place, maybe. And maybe different things are going to happen in Mythen Rude that I was not expecting. But yeah, 
I'm reading this one. This this is probably, in all honesty, this is probably the only book that I will have any updates on when it comes to this reading vlog. But I'd really like to read a lot this week. Will I do it? Probably not, because it's already like 3 o'clock on a Saturday, and I've not read a single page. <laughs> but I do have some other books that I am eyeing, because since Coley is slower paced, I would like to read something a little faster, but then I'm not very good at reading multiple books at once because it's like I fail all the time. But anyway, the ones in my stack that I could read are The Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. Um, I have been eyeing this one. It says it's gothic, yes. And I also read Caitlin Starling's first book, the Luminous Dead, which was um, a cave spelunking book. Like she having to explore this like really deep cave and it was kind of terrifying. But so I'm excited to read Aziz. Do I know exactly what it's about? No, but the vibe of the cult, the, the vibe of the cover is calling to me. And the fact that it's gothic. I mean, um, I then have Immortal in Death by J.D. Robb. Look at this cover. I mean, I mean. Uh, this is the third book in the In Death series, which is massive. And I started reading it this year. And I need to continue. I find it, okay. I'm interested. They're quick. I'm interested. And then this one I saw randomly and I picked it up because I thought first off it's a novella it's very short and it is called Death of Attila novella star and it just seems like it's going to be a quick read it's by Teresa Doval Page Duval Page I probably said that wrong um but yeah I mean it's real short it's 118 pages words are not small. I feel like I could fly through this and it just looks kind of fun. So I picked that up. Do I know exactly what these are about? No. And I'm sorry. I cannot tell you. I do not want, I, it takes too long. I also <laughs> went to the library today because I had some books that I had to return and I can't, I can't go to a library without getting more books than I need. <laughs> so I'll just, again, I'm not gonna tell you what these are about because mostly when I go to the library, I just pick up things and I say, ooh, this looks good, or ooh, this sounds good, or I've seen this other places. And I just pick it up and I put it in my bag or carry it around. So <laughs> the ones I got this time. The Kindred by Alicia Dow. Uh, I think I got an e-arc for this too. And as I said, I'm awful at reading e-arcs, but I think it might be like sci-fi, maybe? I don't know. It says Galactic Kingdom. I love sci-fi books, so I got this one. I got I Am Margaret Moore by Hannah Kappen. I think this one is some kind of mystery disappearances and I like that uh, this cover mainly all our hidden gifts by Carolyn O'Donohue again I don't really know what this is but I like the cover it's some kind of witchy paranormal thing yeah then I got pet by uh, Kawaik Amazing. I don't know how to say that name. I do apologize. Um, I don't know how to say it. This one is super short, and I've definitely heard stuff about this, and so I just kind of wanted to check it out. I might have got an e arc for this too. This is I'm not I'm not good with e arcs. The next one I got is the Wolves Are Waiting by Natasha Friend. I don't know. I like the title. Even though the cover is like a cartoon face thing, I was intrigued. 
and but I don't really know what it is. <laughs> Next one, The Duke Undone by Joanna Lowell. I like dukes. I like historical romance. So we went for it. Um, Ten Truths and a Dare by Ashley Elston. I read Ten Blind Dates a couple of years ago. <laughs> Where does time go? And I thought it was very cute. So this looks very cute too. A uh, couple more because I'm crazy. Blood Scion by Deborah Filet. Filal. Don't know how to say that name. Um, I think it's something like the girl has powers. She can incinerate an enemy at will. Wow. Hidden abilities. And then I think, I don't know if this is like a chosen one type of thing or like have to bring down the evil, whatever, but got it. Uh, another cute one because I like cute stuff. Debating Darcy by Siantani Dasgupta. Again, I probably said that name all wrong. And, but this is some kind of pride and prejudice reinterpretation. Mm -hmm. And then, the last one in my sack is The Chain by Adrian McKinty. Uh, this one is because I've been seeing the author's latest book that just came out everywhere. I think it's The Island or something. It has a similar cover vibe. And I don't know. I just want to read it. It is the same one, isn't it? I think so. Uh, I want to say this is like either horror or thriller or horror thriller, but I got that. And that's it. That's all the books that are in my bag. The only other thing I've got in here is a book page and just gives me an excuse to look at more books. Okay, so that's, 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 that's it. That's all I've got for this first clip so far. A lot, I know. And I'm going to read try to read and not get distracted the trials of coley 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 um instagram and youtube has distracted me for hours already and i really need to read because this is already a slow read and then if i keep getting distracted well that doesn't help me on my reading but yeah i will pop back in at some point and tell you if I've made any progress at all. Hey guys, it's me, Ashley, and I thought I should film an update for this vlog so it actually looks like I'm vlogging, you know, that I'm doing something, yes. So, I'm still reading The Trials of Coley, Coli. I feel like, I feel like I'm really trying to like read, to like, okay, not all the time, I do get distracted. But I feel like I'm trying here and I'm just not making a ton of progress. I think the last time I talked with you guys, I was on page 140 something. And I have made it to 340. So I've made progress. I've definitely made progress. So I've got this much left, but at the same time, it feels like it's, it feels like there's not much, but then it feels like a lot at the same time. Um, I enjoy, I'm enjoying this book. It's just very, very slow reading. Um, I do think, because it is, it feels like a middle book. Um, there's like a lot of journeying and not big action stuff happening because the big action stuff will probably be for the last book. You know what I'm saying? And I was surprised. I might have mentioned this earlier, but I don't know. I was surprised because we got a um, a second perspective in this. And we went back to where Coley is from. Mythen Rude. 
I don't know if that's supposed to be like uh, actual plays. <laughs> if you read the book, you'll understand because it's like a post-apocalyptic Europe, England kind of thing. So they'll mention like some words and you'll be like, oh yeah, that's that place. That's how they talk about that place. So I don't know if Mythen Rood is actually a real place or not. It's probably not. It's probably not. But um, yeah, we go back there to a character that we did meet um, in book one. And at first I was kind of like, why are we here? <laughs> this is very strange. Um, I think two reasons. Well, I don't know if two reasons. One reason. Um, I think it's to make the story, to give the story, make it more interesting. Because if if this story had just been Coley journeying, I think it would be more boring. But since we have that second perspective, it is a little interesting. Um, seeing how his village is going on after the events of him leaving. But yeah, I really want to read, I want to finish this so I can um, get to, so I can kind of get to something else. I mean, I am enjoying it, but it's just not, it's just not a quick read. And I think, I feel like I am reading for, you know, decent chunks of time and just not making a ton of progress. Um, but I am liking it and I would read the third. I am going to read the third book. It's just, it's just a lot. And like the words are small-ish. So it's just like, I, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere, but I am, I am. Yeah, so I'm gonna read more of this and I hope to finish it soon and then we'll see what I do next. Hey guys, it's me with an update. Yes, it is. Um, I have been very lazy the last couple of days, but that's just how I am. So today is Friday, July 15th. Yeah, and I am so pleased to report that I finished The Trials of Coli by M.R. Carey um, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday morning, well, or afternoon. Let's be truthful. Um, yes, I finished it. The ending, I mean, I definitely want to read the next book. I definitely do. I just will have to prepare myself that it'll be a slow time. And that's just what I'll have to do. Um, and I realized I didn't, like I told you bare bones about this series and I'll keep it that way but I will say I think one reason why this reads slow well I already said because it's a middle book in a trilogy and usually middle books you know you can't you've got to keep the story going but you can't do like too much because you're kind of going to be leading up to the finale I don't know middle books are just sometimes they can be good sometimes they can they can just be. And in this book, um, the way that it's told is that Coley and now Spinner, our other character that's in here, um, they are telling it from some point in the future. So it's like they're almost like they're sitting around a campfire, but that's not what they're doing. But And they're telling you what happened and how they got to this end spot. So, I don't know if that maybe had something to do with, because you're not removed from the action, but the action's already happened. I don't know if that makes sense. But, yeah. I enjoyed this. I think it's a cool world. You don't know what year it is. Because um, I told you it's post-apocalyptic, but it's obviously sometime it's future. And I'm not sure how far future it is. Uh, there is a terrifying plant episode in here. There's like this seed that can do crazy things. and ugh, Yuck. But yeah, I finished this book. 
I did it. And I'm <sighs> proud of myself because I've been meaning to read. There were two sequels that I kept meaning to read, but I kept like putting them off. And one of them was this one and the other one I read last month. So I've now finished those two sequels that I kept putting off. And I've continued with a series. So we're just, you know, we're glad about it. And I will read the third book, which is The Fall of Coley. Coli, and I think it's already out. And then here's the little, so that's the Book of Coli. That's one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. And it is, uh, I probably said this already too, but I got this for um, review through NetGalley. And I'm just really bad at reading ebooks. So technically, this is a review copy. Yes, yes. And then um, yesterday, I started The Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. This will be my second Caitlin Starling book that I've read. The first one that I read was The Luminous Dead, which was a claustrophobic cave kind of cave horror kind of story, which was pretty was which was really good and I enjoyed it. And this one, it's obviously set in the past. Again, I don't know what year because I don't think it ever said. Um, but it kind of reminds me of Victorian times. They've mentioned some war, but I'm not smart enough to know what year that was or if it's even real. Um, but our main character, her name is Jane. Jane, 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 Jane. Um, her name is Jane, and she's kind of like gone past the age of marriage. I mean, she can still get married, but you know, she's kind of like almost to spinsterhood, I guess. And she's decided she's got this list of candidates for marriage where she could have like a business arrangement kind of marriage. She's really good at math. So she's decided that she could do the accounts and the books for a husband. And this guy that she has picked, this candidate, I don't know if he's number one or not, but his name is Augustine, is it Lawrence? Yes, it is Lawrence, I'm such an idiot. Um, Augustine Lawrence, and he is a doctor. And when she first like does her proposition to him, he is, not sure about it but um i think it's gonna happen and but he has like this rule that she can't come to his ancestral hall or something she must never visit lind ridge hall his crumbling family manor outside town but then that goes to crap and she finds out things so I have not gotten to the part where they got married yet. Um, she's still in like trial run. Um, she's helping him at his surgeon, his doctor's office where he does surgery. And this guy just came in for surgery. And if you're squeamish, you probably don't want it because there's lots of blood. But so far I am very intrigued. Um, I feel like this title is it telling me what the future holds? The death of Jane Lawrence. Jane Lawrence is our main girl. Is she going to die? I don't know. And this book, I very like, I was sucked in immediately, which is nice. And it just feels very different from the first book that I read by Caitlin Starling. Because Caitlin Starling's first book was like a sci-fi horror kind of thing. And this is horror too. But it's got the historical thing going on with it. And I was like, okay. Okay. But yeah, that is everything I have to say for now. Hello. It is me. I can't decide if this is going to be just an update or if it's going to be my last clip. So if it's my last clip, it's my last clip. And you'll know. Yes, you will. So, still reading The Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. Um, I am, 
102 pages in. I feel, I feel good about it. I'm really enjoying this book. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Um, where I'm at now, the spooky stuff has just started to happen. Uh, the mystery of like, what is going on here? So this one, this was all kind of, I don't know. I appreciate that it had some lead up to the spooky stuff. Because some books it's like, the spooky stuff is just right there, you know, sudden. But I like that this one is kind of a slow, creepy. And you, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> no idea. No idea. I guess in the synopsis, it says that it's Crimson Peak inspired. Isn't, and Crimson Peak, isn't that, um, is that vampires? No, that's, that might be something else. I'll have to look up what Crimson Peak is. I know it, but I don't. And then it says... Upends every expectation set in place by Shirley Jackson and Rebecca and will leave readers shaken, desperate to begin again as soon as they are finished. It just has me very curious to know what's going on. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's like a, it's a very easy book just to, just to get into and to get lost in. And I don't know, as soon as I started reading it, I liked it, which I think is a good sign because it's much better to be just pulled right in instead of it taking a while for you to get into the flow of the book. That's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like this, I got into the flow of it right away. Because at the beginning, it kind of read almost like, um, like it could have been historical romance. It's not. But it had that ease to it, that vibe. If I just plan to read more of this today, um, I don't think I'm going to finish it. And I want to start a new vlog, new weekly reading vlog tomorrow because I do want to get back into the vlogging because I've just, I don't know, I, I enjoy booktube, I really enjoy watching it and it was just like, it's a lot of work to um, edit videos and remember to film stuff Especially when you feel awkward filming stuff because you think people are going to make fun of you. <laughs> that is uh, my family. And, but I just really enjoy it. I enjoy the community part of it. And I just kind of want to get back to doing it. But that means that I'll have to get better at editing in a timely manner. And you'll have to realize that I am not a, a very fast reader um, compared to some people. Some people can just zip them off like so quick. And I'm not, I don't do audiobooks either. And I think, and this is not to be down on anybody or down on audiobooks because whatever, that's how you read whatever. But I just feel like when you listen to audiobooks, of course you're going to be able to finish more things because you can listen to audiobooks and you can do other things while you're listening to them. But when you're reading from the page, I mean, that's where your all your attention has to be from the page. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not a fast reader because I read from the page. And... I work and I get distracted and I like to watch YouTube and go on Instagram you know I waste time in varieties of ways oh and I like TV so but I do want to do more vlogs so this is going to be me trying yet again to like do more be more and I think that's gonna be my last clip but since I mentioned TV 
I do like TV. <laughs> and I'll let you, the show that I am currently watching, I'm almost done with it. I think I've got like two more episodes, is um, Vagabond. It is a Korean K-drama action show. And it's about a guy who, a guy, his, he's raising his nephew and his nephew ends up dying in a plane crash. And then it's like a giant conspiracy that he has to uncover in order to find out like who's responsible for killing his nephew and killing all these people on the plane. And it's really good. It's good. I've been enjoying the K-dramas. You know, they have good numbers of episodes. There's always something happening. And I like to watch it in its original language, so I read the subtitles because I want the experience, you know? I want to hear what they sound like. But anyway, that's all I have to say, and I guess I will see you in the next vlog where I will still be reading this book. Okay, okay, bye! Let's do it.